Hey guys, this is Rob and I just wanted to let you know that this video is part of a series of videos revolving around PCE Works' PC Engine Memories Puzzle and Action box set. Now this box set comes with four individually wrapped games and yes, you can actually buy them individually, although they are a better deal if you buy them as a box set and they do come with some extras. So the four games that come with the box set are Poppin' Magic, which came out in 1992, the TV show, which came out in 1995, Basaru de Gozaru, which came out in 1996, and finally Moteka Tamago, which came out incredibly 10 years after the release of the PC Engine in 1997. You have to remember the Sega Saturn and, and Sony PlayStation had already been out for two plus years in Japan as well. So yeah, it was a pretty late release. All right, in addition to the unboxing video, which I hope you've already seen, I will be releasing four independent gameplay videos, which you can watch in any order. But I do recommend that you watch the unboxing video first, just because it would make more sense. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoy this video. All right, guys, it's time to play Poppin' Magic. Released in 1992 for the PC Engine Super CD-ROM. Now, this is actually my third attempt at recording this gameplay video. Here's a shot of the back side of the CD case. The first two just uh, went awry. I don't even want to talk about them. But uh, I will say that... Let me go ahead and hit run to get this thing going. On my first attempt, I had no idea what I was doing. And I actually did fairly well. I got pretty far. The second time I played... I knew the rules, I picked up on all the rules, and uh, I did worse. I eventually got past where I had gotten the first time, but it took me a lot of lives to get there. So hopefully this is a little bit more smooth. Uh, basically this game uh, boils down to a puzzle bobble type of game, where you enclose your enemies in bubbles and then you throw them against each other. Um, there is a color element in this. Uh, I wasn't really a bubble bobble player, I played it before, but... For the most part, I just kind of avoided that game. I don't know, it just kind of turned me off. But this game's actually pretty fun. Uh, so there's this color element, and I'll explain it to you um, when we get to it. So we'll go ahead and let the cinema run here. It's kind of lengthy, but um, and I can't figure out what the heck's going on. Like, I've watched this several times now. I have no idea what, what those red lights signify. It's basically, as far as I can tell, like a, a pre-Harry Potter wizardry school where two young, I don't know, teenage wizards have to encase enemies in bubbles for some reason. There are the colors there. Um, I'm guessing green is not one of the ones that you know disappears because it's in your scepter. You'll see your scepters are always green. Both both characters, uh, the boy and the girl character, have green scepters. And this guy too. So, I don't know what, who this guy is. Uh, he only shows up in the intro here. And this is like bunny rabbit guy riding a unicycle? What is that? I never noticed that before. Okay, tornadoes. All kinds of bad shit going on. And I think we get to the title screen now. Nope. Oh, maybe. Yeah. So... All that stuff seemed all dark and bleak, and then you get to the super bright and happy uh, menu screen, and then it goes back to another cinema here. Oh, there is a red scepter. And I guess... I don't think you count that morning star as a... So, this girl is the main character. As far as I can tell, her name is Anis. Or Anis. I don't know what else it's supposed to be. I forgot this guy's name. She'll say it here in a second. It's like Lucas or something like that. Ah, I'm not really a big fan of this style, this chibi style. I don't know why she has fangs. I think it's just like a cute thing, but that laugh certainly is cute. That laugh is usually reserved for evil characters, evil women, older women. 
Yeah, and then there's this rat rabbit thing with weird paws. I don't know what's going on with those paws. Those weird me out more than anything else. So this pink thing belongs to the dude, and there's a blue version that belongs to her. And they do talk at some point. Lester. That's his name, not Lucas. Lester. No idea what's going on. She told him to shut up. He like thanked her for something and then she told him to shut up. She's kind of mean. His little paws changed. I noticed that the last time I played. I think he reminded her of something. She's like, yeah, yeah, I, I know. Very vague understanding of what's going on here. So there's the blue rat rabbit thing. All right, and then you go into this totally, like, unrelated to anything. I don't even know, like... So, anyway, these cute little characters, you just shoot them. And they all turn to bubbles. There's a, um... Kind of a rock, paper, scissors thing going on with those bubble colors. For instance, that yellow one um, blew up when it touched or blows up the blue. The orange blows up the yellow. And it doesn't matter which one you throw against the other. Um, it's all color dependent. So if you throw two of the same color together, um, they get released. And that's bad. And I think they actually get like more aggressive. Oops. Ooh. Um, so it's not good to uh, do that. So you can the last like I don't know a minute or so. Oh, see the blue just destroyed the orange. Um, and it has nothing to do which one you drop on the other. So, so for instance, the blue gets destroyed by yellow. So if I do this, the blue will disappear, even though I threw it at the yellow. And ideally, you want to be left with just one bubble at the end, and then you just have to shoot it. So you can shoot any of the bubbles, but um, you don't get as much as, as many items or as many points. Um, there are some power-ups in here, and you're thinking, why do you need power-ups? That's because later, you will have to shoot the enemies more than once in order to get them to be encased in a bubble. So... You want it to be one shot pretty much all the time because it can get kind of crazy later on when there's a bunch of enemies on the screen. So, yeah, that, that's good. I need to get that one too. Uh, the fruit lasts about as long as those dudes do in bubbles, which is a long time. Uh, these That one destroys blue, so that's good because I can destroy both of these. Hey, come on. And that should leave me with just the yellow, which means I just shoot it, and that's it. That's pretty much the whole game. Now, it does get trickier with the layout of the map. And uh, the enemies do get a little harder. Uh, for one, they start taking more hits. And anytime you take a hit, um, you uh, revert back to just, like, regular... You know, just spawns, no power-ups, no speed-ups. There's also speed-ups. Um, and it really sucks. But they're usually pretty... Oh, no, 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 no! Oh! So, I forgot about that, that it goes across. So what I want is an orange one. There you go, that's what I want. Because the, other one, the orange one will blow both of those. I think that may be the last one. You just shoot it. That's it. So there are bosses as well, and they're pretty straightforward. You shoot them. Um, you don't have to encase them in bubbles or anything like that. So these witches um, can cast spells on you as well, but you know they're just they just hurt you. They just basically oh shit. Those two touched. And with that, two yellow ones touched. Um, you can't get hurt by falling down. It actually just drops you to the top of the screen. So, like, just like that. I 
think that we're gonna, yeah, we'll start with that. There's just like this weird thing. If you push, if you push two colors together that are the same, uh, not throw them, but push them together so that they occupy the same space. And then you throw, um, no wait, I got that mixed up. If you put two that are dissimilar together and occupy the same space, and then you throw a bubble that, uh, like, let me see if I can do it here. No, that's not gonna work. I'm gonna just get rid of them. Well, maybe. So, like, right there. I have both blue and yellow there. If I get a blue one, okay, watch this. It's gonna, it's gonna, yeah, see, it hit the blue one instead of hitting the yellow one. So that's no good. I, I don't want that to happen. See, right here, it's gonna do it again. I want to hit the yellow one, but it won't do it. Oh, shit. I also hate that, um, when you try to shoot, if you're too close, it picks it up instead. Oh, crap. And it took too long to uh, get rid of that other thing, so the guy came back out. Okay, good. This one should. Yellow destroys blue. And then I'm going to be left with just yellow, which is good. You don't want to be left with two or sometimes three of the same color. I right, should be approaching the first boss here pretty soon be too much further. So these vertical walls, you probably noticed, I can jump up and down on the horizontal ones. And even though those vertical ones seem to be made uh, from the same thing, whatever that video game material might be. Oh, that guy jumped. Oh, I ended up shooting it too many times. You can't go between vertical vertical walls. I have to hiccups now. But you can't shoot through them. And they can shoot through them as well. I don't think I can throw that. No, I can't. So I have to actually pick that up. And So now I have two blue ones there. If I could get a yellow, that'd be great. Oh, see, I'm left with two blues. So I have to just, just shoot them. Pretty soon here, I should be getting a power-up. Because the enemies get more difficult. And you have to hit them twice. Oh, shoot. You do start out uh, invincible or invulnerable. Actually, I might already be powered up. Because I think those guys do take two hits if you don't have a power up. There should be blue, which are destroyed by that. Oh, the other way around. Oh, shit. Grab that. Man, I need a yellow to destroy those blues. And I'm not going to get one. Okay. Stage clear. The control is the control is very good. Um, you have air control, and it's I feel like it's very responsive, uh, very accurate. The only real complaint I have is that there's only two buttons. If I had more buttons, you wouldn't have this problem. Uh, is that the same button that grabs also shoots, and sometimes I when they're really close to me, I want to shoot, and it didn't just grab me like the ball next to it. And that's no good. And this should be destroyed by the yellow. Need an orange. Oh, the orange is great because it's going to destroy both the yellows. Except for I'm going to lose that one. Yep. It's alright. I'm just re contain them. That will destroy them. I think I missed some fruit, actually. So time stop. I actually got a time stop where it didn't see... Oh, see? Like, that's what I meant by it. you get too close and uh, it ends up grabbing. And it does make you get or at least get rid of the fruit either by picking it up or um, by letting it dissipate. But you do have to get rid of the fruit. It won't end the stage without it. So the only way to get to that platform is to uh, fall down. 
and that actually slows down the action quite a bit because um, it's kind of dangerous to fall down there. Okay, as long as I hit the yellow one first. Oh shit. Okay, so I, I got hit. That means I lost my power-ups. That is terrible. Now I'm really slow. My shots don't go as far. Oh no, I'm gonna die. I'm probably gonna die here. Oh, I... Okay, I died. I lost, like, all my lives on this hurry-up thing. I'm just trying to finish this level. Because that guy, that asshole comes out and just wails on you. And he's relentless. Like, he doesn't stop. And he just... Come on. And he hits you over and over and over. Oh, my God. No, quit picking... See, that's the thing. I mean, like... Quit picking shit up. Thank goodness. Like, I lost like five lives to that one dude because he just doesn't stop. Oh, and I'm at the I'm at the boss with like a very weak weapon. I do have, uh, I forgot to mention, I do have some power-ups here. Like, I can, if you, you can hit run or select. And then uh, if you hit up and charge the, the fire button, you actually get a pretty powerful attack. But it costs a lot of like power to do that attack. I wish you could duck sometimes. So, oh my goodness! Oh, see, and that thing does not go away. Oh shit! Yeah, you have to get that plate because it just doesn't stop. It just doesn't top to your dad. Shoot those? Yes, you can. Oh, crap. Oh, it did stop. And I've had one, like, that just kept... I guess it just... If it ends up off screen. Because it doesn't... I, can, I haven't seen one dissipate. Woo! Lucky. Oh, no. Finally. So I took an extra long time because I didn't have uh, power-ups. So my magic was weak. Alright. And I get the yellow gem. So I thought maybe there was just three levels for the three gems. That isn't the case. After you beat the second boss, you actually get a map. And then who knows before how long it is before you get another gem. And how many other trinkets you end up getting before you get all three. So there's another cutscene, obviously. So let's try to guess at what's going on. I, obviously, you're collecting the three gems. They got broken up. I don't know what's up with her Karen laugh and Street Fighter, Street Fighter Alpha, and uh, Street Fighter Alpha 3 and Street Fighter 5. Also from Money Puzzle Exchange. Or money, money Idol Exchanger. There's a character that laughs just like that. And here we see the first time we see the uh, blue version of the rat rabbit. And first time we hear them talk. No idea. They're her, they're her fangs and they're full glory right there. Again, I just think they're uh, supposed to be cute. It was like a thing back then in the 90s, I guess. Tornado, that's the name of the blue guy. And like a lot of PC Engine games, they choose to do large sprites with limited animation as opposed to just full motion video. I really like that because full motion video tends to be very grainy. It's in a small little window, real super grainy, even on the PC Engine. And uh, this looks way better. It's more bright, colorful, bigger sprites. Um, and they basically store a whole bunch of sprites on the CD, along with the Red Book audio for the voice acting. I have no idea what they're talking about. Oh, we get to a haunted house. That's right. 
That is the boss for the second level, second stages, or what is it, second world. There's the haunted house. Reminds me of like entering Castlevania or Splatterhouse or something. And again, it goes from this like dark tone to like super bubbly. This stage does have my favorite enemy, that little long tooth guy. <laughs> oh man, I'm super underpowered. See that? Took two. Hiccups again. Oh man, it does not go far. Take, okay, so it takes two. Alright, let's just get rid of this. I need a power up. Oh, I think that's a power up. Yeah. So scepters come out, so I should be able to do this and um, and they just keep. Oh man, what the? Uh oh, god damn it! Now I'm back to a sucky magical power. Oh, I have to hit. Oh, I have to hit that. Okay, twice. Oh, there's a power-up over there. The power-ups are scepters, I figured out. Okay. Come on, long tooth. There's a speed-up. I haven't noticed what a speed-up is. I do... Oh, uh, I guess I'm done, so I have to shoot these. Um, stopwatch is the time stop. Scepters are power-ups. Although I think if you're too powered up, it just gives you points. And I don't know what the speed up is, I've noticed. Okay. Oh, they still take two. Yeah, those are tough. Okay, those only take one. The snails are orange, so... Oh! God damn it. Oh, three? Okay. I guess I already have a yellow one. All right, there we go. Orange is good. Oh, good. I should be able to do everything in one shot. Left with two orange. Damn it. Oh no. Stop it. See, I don't want. There we go. What color are you? A blue? Blue's good. See, you can pick up the enemies like as they're bouncing away. I don't know what benefit there is to that. Oh, I just need to shoot it. I, I hate. See, I hate that it picks it up. Yeah, I don't know what the benefit is to picking up the uh, enemies as they're bouncing around. As far as I can tell, there is none. Just like that, right there. Oh, Jesus, I saw that too late. I saw it as I was falling. that a power up So the last level before the boss is a question mark. I do remember that. So I don't think we're there yet. Oh, the cats. Cats take quite a few hits. Oh, it gets them powered up. I'll 
beautiful. They give you all different colors. Look at all those fruits. I'll take that. There's a pineapple. I keep hearing them say pineapple. Um, but I guess it's... Oh, I should have done that. Nope, don't throw it. Just blow it up. Thank you. I think they're saying power up when I'm hearing pineapple. I don't know. Maybe not. Oh, 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 oh. Alright, let's speed run this shit. Cool. Picking up the... Oh, jeez. I thought he was going to fall on me. If picking up... Oh, it's going to be super hard to kill. With the bubble eyes. I was say, I don't know if uh, picking up a bubble resets the timer on it so that it doesn't uh, let the dude out. Oh, wow. Whoa, whoa. Oh, shit. That was bad. Yeah, those guys are way faster. They're pissed off. Come on. Okay, now you're coming over here. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. There we go. I have to remember not to throw them. Just blow them up. Jeez, look how many hits. It's crazy. Okay, should be nearing the boss here. Should be the question mark stage soon. Maybe one more? Alright. Wow, that cat looks mean when it blows a fireball. We're up. There we go. We're gonna speed up at least. Oh, jeez. I thought he was already giving me a bubble. that's good for screwing you up picking up a bouncing enemy that's been like popped out of a bubble it just screws you up because you want to shoot your magic oh, no, that's not good. there we go oh okay there's still stuff left i think that thing is oh it's orange okay of course it wouldn't be blue it's only blue colored See, doesn't that sound like pineapple? All right. I wish there was numbers on here to tell me what stage number I was on. It's still no question mark? Okay. That's right. I remember these guys. Probably my second favorite characters. Oh, whoa. They take a lot of hits. Oh, wow. Hello, frog. Scepters. Too many of these same enemies. Alright, just get rid of this one. Should be done. Okay. I 
Wow, still not to this question mark. Oh. Sorry for not paying attention. Wow, look how many times you have to hit him. Jeez. Oh, great. Oh, it actually exploded it. Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay. Good timing, too, because getting close. Maybe one or two more levels. There it is. Finally. There's the damn question mark. It's like the only memorable shape I remember. Oh, I can't go over those blue ones. Sucky, check out those blue ones. Oh no. Yep. God! Alright, whatever. Just gonna shoot you guys. Oh man. I can't even go, like, through them, like, up or down at all. Solid. Man, that sucks. All right. There we go. Boss time. I have 99, so it's just a big giant wooden ghost person. I don't know. Tornado. So, the other one's actually pretty good, because it gives you like a little option. And he shoots double. Ah! No! I just gotta be more careful, that's all. It does have a form change. Oh, that's good. Probably gonna get there soon. There it is. It's not too bad. Um, it doesn't throw anything at you, you just have to avoid it. Looks like it sheds a beard. Option shoots the wrong way half the time. Oh, the music looped. I'm taking so long. Finally! All oh, these points. Okay. So, you get this map that looks like cheese to me, but it's a map. And... <laughs> 
Then uh, we're going to get to the third world. I think that's pretty good as far as like gameplay elements. I don't think that it would change too much past this. This is as far as I've gotten. We'll go ahead and watch the cinema. I'll play a little bit of the next level and then we'll kind of wrap it up. Overall, I really like this game. Um, I played some of the other games. This game is, is, is pretty high up there. I wouldn't... I haven't played them all yet, so I don't want to rank them, but um, it's definitely a thumbs up on this one. I haven't had a chance to play a two-player either. I imagine that'd be pretty fun as well. Uh, it looks like two-player simultaneous on the screen, you know, single screen puzzle game. Should be pretty interesting. So this part here, I was like, what happened to the sound? Apparently this guy's like watching them like at a vision or a movie screen, or I don't know what. And he's like, looks like a vamp. This guy looks like a vampire. He's got no fangs. <laughs> the other girl, fangs. Unless he's hiding them and he's a vampire and she's like his daughter or something. Plot twist. These anime voices are super, like, stereotypical 90s anime. Just a couple of idiot henchmen. Henchmen. Like, what's with those little, like, diamonds on the bottom? Very sparse. Alright, I'm just gonna play a little bit more. Just show you, like, what a, like, crazy <laughs> change in, like, pace and scenery. Like, this looks like it's some kind of sunny beach day. It went from, like, a super horror-themed... Oh, shit. Um, like, serious tone, doom and gloom, and now it's like we're at a beach. We're at a lake, anyway. sort of addictive. The nice thing is it's completely playable. Um, you won't understand what the hell is going on unless you know Japanese in the cinemas, but this game is completely playable in English as you can tell. There's um, everything's in English, so yeah, no problem at all. Which is a nice change. This is the last level, I swear. This is it. Pineapple! Oh man, why did you have to? I'm just gonna destroy him. I don't want to risk letting him loose again. How many does that take me? Three? Okay. Whoa! Oh wow, that guy's shooting his fists! What is it? Oh, he, oh, he's like walking around with his thumbs up, I guess? Get even get, how do I even get down there? I can't kill those things! That is terrible. I'm just gonna do this. I don't know if I can pass this part. 
how do I get down there? Oh, I'm gonna have to use, okay. This is the only way I can think of. Yep. That was the only way I can think of to do it. Otherwise, there's no way. I always forget about that power-up. I've only used it on the boss. That's the first time I had to use it outside of it. Alright. <laughs> I'm gonna stop, I swear. That that's that's a good game right there when you don't want to stop playing. It's it's just a simple game. It's just fun. Look at that. Oh I got a nice combo going on here. And a power up. Oh man, it'd be such a shame to quit down. Don't be. There we go. And you're blue. This is such an easy level. Oh, look at that. Perfect. So good. Alright, how about I just play until I, I die? I got nine dudes. Or nine Anises chicks. Mummies underwater? That makes no sense. Dude, come on. Oh, oh wow, she's shooting like... I don't even know what. Oh, shit. Oh shit, chicken, chicken. Oh man, I can't be okay, cool. Come on, chicken. Come on, chicken. I know as soon as I go can I jump it? No I cannot. Oh my gosh. Wow, the mummy still takes more than one. ass on this level. Can't stop now. Okay, cool. Come on. You two should meet. You two should meet. Trust me, you'll like it. There we go. No, I didn't want to throw it. I was just going to bounce around crazy. Stop, stop, stop. Okay, cool. Alright. Another level down. What we got next? Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit! Oh my god! Well, oh, fuck it. I'm just not even gonna bother with the points. I'm just gonna not get, not get dead. How about that? Not get dead. Oh shit, something got out loose. Something got loose. I don't know. Oh man, I got stuck with two yellows. That seemed like a very short level. Stage clear. So this is the furthest I've played, and also the best I've ever done. <laughs> Definitely getting the hang of it. Alright, I'm not trying to do a long play here, I promise. Damn it. Can't jump through those. Have to fall. Ah, it's gonna be a pain in the ass. Okay, time to use my super power up. Place where I couldn't grab it. There it is. I wonder if I'm 
getting close to the next boss already. Not even trying. It's not. Okay, can jump through that. Jeez, that mummy took a whole lot. Those. That captain or pirate guy looks weird. can't get more than nine lives. Oh man, this sucks. Oh man, this totally blows. I can't even... Oh, whatever. See, I don't know what that significance of that is. But all the time that this keep grabbing, it kind of falls. Last one gets pissed. Come on, jellyfish. Of course you fall there. Okay, I got it. Okay. Oh shit, here comes the... No, 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 no. Quit running away. There we go. Here comes the um, Grim Reaper with the sword. That guy. Okay. This is for real the last time. Unless it's the boss. If it's the boss, then I'll play the boss. If not, I'll stop. Oh man, I can't go across. I guess they're flaming fists. Is what that guy has. Chance is gonna hit orange on orange. And now we have blue in the mix. What are you? Hopefully not blue. Okay, cool. Alright. Meet up guys. Blue and orange. Oh these two need to meet up too. the boss. I was secretly hoping it would be the boss so I could just play the boss. Well, it's probably the next level. No, no, no! Stupid. Stupid. Man, that mummy is hardcore. I'm glad I played that extra one. Oh, those extra five <laughs> levels. Uh oh, what the? Alright, time for power up! Oh, Jesus. Yeah, 
I have a feeling I'm not gonna beat this guy in the first try here. I feel like I should focus on one of them. Oh, come on! There's like no indication of like. Get score is to hit pause. It's kind of silly, but oh, I got a blue one. Nice. So there's only one left. All right. Well, I think that's well, like more than enough to show you the gameplay on this. I went way further than I expected to, like four or five levels. Hey, I got to get to the bottom. Oh, cinema. Let's watch the cinema, and then we'll quit. I, I'm putting the controller down. Look, <laughs> we're just gonna watch the cinema. You know, one day I'm gonna come back and, and actually finish this. And it seems like these cinemas are so disjointed and nothing to do with anything. Uh oh, where's Tornado? Where are you? God, her voice just sounds like she's whiny all the time. Come on, behind her. There he is. Ah, uh, he got the gem. That's pretty standard PC Engine animation. An appendage drawn independently of everything else just sliding across the screen. Anyway, guys, um, yeah, Pop and Magic, pretty fun game. Definitely, definitely give it a thumbs up. I, um, it's certainly a, a testament. I had to do that, otherwise I'd probably keep playing. Certainly a testament of how uh, fun a game is if you just can't put the controller down. You have to make yourself. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Remember, there are four total videos for all the different games that are part of the uh, PC uh, PC Engine Memories. A puzzle and action box set it's a really good box set very playable as far as i i haven't played them all but um it's very playable as far as not not, not having to know japanese uh there's one exception for one of them uh just watch them all and you'll figure out which one that it is all right guys well thanks for joining me and uh hopefully watch one of these other videos if you haven't already until next time mm -hmm.